The best ability in Cataclysm isn't one that will one-shot you, it's not even something that will show up on most weak aura packages. In fact, it doesn't do a single point of damage at all. So if Kata's most broken ability doesn't even dent your health bar, what does that say about everything else on our list? Before we start, the brand new skill cap UI is basically a cheat code for Cataclysm. That's right, the same add-on we developed for Dragonflight is available right now for Classic. And all you need to do is head over to our new Cata website at skillcap.com using the links below, where you can download our complete package. Instead of spending hours or even days figuring everything out, our UI is custom built to give you everything you need in just a matter of seconds. After installing the free profiles, you can type in slash SC and then click the drop down on the left to enter the import window to install extra profiles for Plater, Omnibar, and Omni CD. You can find your import code on our website by clicking on the add ons tab and then generating the code to paste in game. And while you're there, you can get a preview of our new website that includes hundreds of guides designed to get you ahead fast. From damage, CC, defensives, and more, we've got everything covered so you don't miss out on rating gains. As always, everything is backed up by a rating gain guarantee. So to get the rating you truly deserve, head to the discount link in the video description. One of the biggest differences between a good warlock and a bad warlock is how they use their main cooldown, Demon Soul. This will rank as our seventh most broken ability on this list because of a very confusing mechanic most players don't even know about. Demon Soul increases dot damage by 20%. Seems pretty straightforward and you can already start to see why this ability would be so broken. In an expansion where dots actually hit hard all the time, giving them any sort of buff seems like a nightmare for any healer. But to truly understand why Demon Soul is broken, we need to go deeper. To do this, we need to talk about snapshotting. Our smartest viewers already know how this mechanic works, but let's do a quick crash course. Unlike modern expansions, where dots automatically update their damage based on new buffs, Cataclysm dots will snapshot. This means when a dot leaves your hands, it will take a picture of all the buffs on your character, including spell power, crit, haste, and so on. And then for the entire duration of the dot, the damage will reflect the buffs that were snapshotted, even if they fade before the dot expires. Now to piece everything together, instead of pressing Demon Soul and then trying to manually dot everything, Good Warlocks will do something clever with Soul Swap. They will get UA, Agony, and Corruption up on one target and then inhale those dots with Soul Swap. Then right before they exhale, they will Demon Soul. And these new exhaled dots will be snapshotted with the 20% buff, making the damage a bit less predictable. And now they can even take it a step further and refresh dots on the original target, even using Fell Flame to refresh UA. And now these refresh dots will all be empowered by Demon Soul. And now you can see why this ability is actually so broken. If you're scratching your head wondering what the hell you're supposed to do about all this, the answer is simple. Deny the Warlock from ever casting UA. This is easier said than done, but Unstable Affliction is literally the only thing they care about. Everything a Warlock does depends on UA being active. It allows them to protect their other dots, including their partners, while even acting as a dispel protection for their own fear. It even allows their pet to hit harder. All of their downstream damage starts with UA, and they will almost never Demon Soul Soul Swap without it. Next up is an ability you might have completely forgotten about over the last decade, Unholy Frenzy. This is one of the most unique cooldowns in the game because the DK can actually cast it on a friendly player, increasing their haste, but arguably more importantly, ticking periodic damage on them for 30 seconds. Now, why would anyone want to damage their own teammate for 30 seconds straight? Well, the answer should be obvious. It means they are practically immune to several types of CC. Okay, not literally immune, but you get the idea. Sometimes DKs will preemptively use Unholy Frenzy straight out of the gate to prevent themselves or someone on their team from getting sapped in the opener against rogues. Other times they will hold it for later in the game, using it on their healer to deny some very specific CC chains, allowing them to save their trinket for something else. Beyond that, it's simply another damage cooldown for the DK or their DPS, opening up more burst potential through snapshotting, but luckily there is one very specific counterplay. Since Unholy Frenzy is an enrage effect, it can be removed by Shiv, Tranquilizing Shot, or Soothe, which will instantly dispel it, saving you a headache if you're lucky enough to have a Rogue, Hunter, or Druid on your team. It's time to throw a curveball to everyone watching. Normally, when we make these videos, we focus exclusively on cooldowns, but there is one ability so broken in Cataclysm precisely because it doesn't have a cooldown. Is it Polymorph, Fear, or Cheap Shot? No, but by now you should know what it is. Cyclone is without a doubt one of the strongest CCs in the game. It might actually be the strongest, but that's the topic of another video. In Cataclysm, Cyclone doesn't share a DR with spells like Fear or Blind. That's right, it's on its own category of diminishing returns. 
Even more, you cannot bubble or ice block out of Cyclone like you can in modern expansions. It can't even be MD'd. The only way out is with a PvP trinket. By now you already know that Feral Druids have instant Cyclones every few seconds thanks to Predatory Strikes, and if you're a smart viewer, you will know that there is some counterplay here. Predatory Strikes is a buff on the Feral themselves, and can easily be tracked with our weak aura package. Once it's up, you need to react quickly to dispel it if the option presents itself. Otherwise, if you play Shaman, you could look to use Grounding Totem to deny the spell from landing. You should also be aware that both Resto Druids and Balance Druids have extended range on their clones, with Boomkins having a maximum range of 29 yards. And if you can manage to interrupt them on Cyclone, it means they can't Bark Skin, which in some cases results in a quick death. Resto Druids also have the ability to NS Cyclone, but here we give them a free pass, since NS is a long CD and Resto Druids need all the help they can get in PvP. Our next ability is a cooldown within a cooldown. Now, there are a few abilities in the game that fit this description, but for the next spell on this list, we're going with Readiness, which literally resets the cooldown of all Hunter abilities. Now, before you freak out, only a few of their abilities are actually relevant for Readiness to be considered OP. The most broken part about readiness is that it resets their main damage cooldown, Rapid Fire, and their hardest hitting ability, Chimera Shot. The fact that Rapid Fire gets reset means that hunters can get insane momentum in the opener and still have gas left in the tank later on. Readiness will also reset all of the hunter CC abilities, with the exception of their Monkey Blind, allowing them to potentially silencing shot or freezing trap back to back. And defensively, readiness is pretty powerful too, since it resets deterrence. What this means, however, is that if a hunter uses readiness offensively, you will instantly know that they are a better kill target, since they will only have one use of their major defensive. Overall though, readiness is simply one of those cooldowns that doesn't have any direct counterplay. While you can punish the hunter for using it aggressively, the only other course of action is simply to track the ability itself, which is one of the many spells we include in our preset Omnibar profile. Now it's time to unwrap an entire package of CDs. This might seem like cheating, but for the next ability on this list, we're including the entire stack of CDs from Rhett Paladins. Unless you've been living under a rock, then you know that Wings has been the bread and butter cooldown for Rhett's since the ability was introduced. In Cataclysm, Wings is just one part of their burst, and the true telltale sign that a Rhett wants to pop off is Guardian of Ancient Kings, which summons a badass angel dude to attack and feed the Paladin a stacking strength buff. Paladins will typically want to build their Guardian first before moving on to the next part of their cooldown stack. And Avenging Wrath is not the only remaining piece of the puzzle, because joining it is Zealotry, an ability that seems confusing on its surface but is actually quite simple to understand. But before we explain, notice one thing about Avenging Wrath, it increases damage and healing while it's active. Rhett Paladins normally have to make a choice on how to spend Holy Power, Templar's Verdict for damage or Word of Glory for healing. But since Zealotry feeds them so much Holy Power, they get the best of both worlds, doing high damage without being slowed down by needing to heal. Now, fortunately, there are a few forms of counterplay. For one, Avenging Wrath is dispellable. And yes, mages, it's going to be worth the global spell stealing since it will give you a huge damage boost. You'll also be able to slow down some of their damage with any CC, especially disarm effects, since it will prevent them from using Crusader Strike, denying the holy power generation from Zealotry. And if all else fails, kiting is a last resort option. Unlike Dragonflight, where Rhett Paladin is a pseudo range spec, Cataclysm actually rewards you for proactive positioning and playing to avoid enemy melee. The cooldown stack from Rhett Paladin is scary, but it usually only means one player is at risk of dying. But Combustion is an ability that can kill your entire team in just a matter of seconds. Here's how it works. First, mages need to farm hot streak procs by shattering Scorch or Fire Blast into frozen targets, which they can do with Frost Nova, Cone of Cold, Ring of Frost, or Deep Freeze if they're playing with another mage. This hot streak will then give them an instant pyroblast, which they will also try and shatter, ideally with some sort of damage buff like a trinket proc, in order to get the biggest crit possible, which includes the biggest possible ignite dot. Then with all these dots and living bomb active on the target, they will combust, building a giant dot, which can potentially be spread to nearby targets with fire blast if the mage has an impact proc. If the stars align, combustion damage is basically unhealable if it can be spread to one or two additional targets. And as an added bonus, dot damage will not break dragon's breath, so fire mages can bust, spread it, and then DB while their opponents die in front of them. Luckily, there is some counterplay. First up, mages have lower crit values in Season 9, which means those shatters are the only consistent way to guarantee hot streak procs. So if you can manage to freedom or if frost nova or cone of cold are dispelled, then it's going to be much harder for the mage to get procs without getting lucky with Scorch Crits, which can of course be interrupted to delay any damage. 
Also, Hot Streak itself can be dispelled. As a buff on the mage, this does require fast reactions and can be hard to actually see, but it is way more visible using the custom buff profile included in our add-ons package. Finally, if a mage has combustion ready and you can feel a pyro crit inbound, you should definitely avoid stacking with your team. Many fire mage spell cleaves tend to run on top of enemy healers, and instinctively their DPS will try and stick close while their healer is under pressure, but this can easily backfire. So if multiple bust dots are spread, your team will need to throw the kitchen sink in order to survive, popping CDs like cloak, ice block, survival instincts, pain suppression, and so on in order to survive. So what could possibly be more broken than an ability that can kill your entire team? What is arguably the most broken ability of all time is Preparation, an ability that resets not one, not two, but six different rogue cooldowns, the most important being Smoke Bomb, but also Vanish and even Kick. Resetting Sprint, Shadow Step, and Dismantle, that's totally cool, but not the real reason why Prep is so good. The ability to reset Smoke Bomb defines how many rogue comps find their wins in 3v3. In highly explosive comps like RMP, Thug Cleave, and Triple DPS, the first smoke bomb of every game can basically be committed risk-free in the opener, which makes it significantly harder for the kill target to get peeled by their teammates. Smoke bomb even breaks enemy players out of stealth, which is again really good in the opener in rogue mirror matches or even into druids looking to pounce. Combine this first smoke bomb with a ring of frost and you have one of the scariest moments of every arena game within a few seconds of the gates opening. Sometimes this first smoke bomb is enough to outright win the game or at least force a trinket which now gives the rogue a 2 minute window to use prep to reset bomb, which the target won't be able to get out of since their trinket is still on CD. Because of this, you need to plan actual cooldown trades against rogues. You can never throw away your trinket for free. But that's just one cooldown that the rogue can reset, and Vanish is arguably the second best CD in the mix. Blind Sap is actually a relevant combo in Cataclysm, so having not one but two Vanishes to make this combo work is a true blessing. You have to remember that Vanish is much better in Cata compared to Wrath since it no longer instantly breaks on damage, and the fact that Prep can reset Kick is just the icing on the cake. This is one of those plays you will surely see Waz or Peekaboo use on stream, as the unsuspecting player thinks they are safe from an interrupt, only to be caught off guard by the best melee kick in the game, lasting 5 seconds. So yeah, we shouldn't have to say anything more. Prep is more than just one cooldown, it's 6 of them packaged into an ability that has no visual indicator other than an icon lighting up on your omnibar. Before we wrap up, you really don't want to miss this opportunity to get a massive head start on the competition with our rating game guarantee. Our courses and arena commentaries have everything you need to help you reach your goals. Regardless of what class you decide to main, we've got you covered. And with a brand new UI package designed specifically for Cataclysm, our website is the number one stop for players wanting to climb. One subscription gets you access to all of our games, allowing you to stay ahead of the competition no matter what expansion you play. Get the rating you've always wanted by visiting the exclusive discount link below. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this one. We want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.